museums, and art galleries. 1. What are the most popular Mueller museums and art galleries in where you live? In my city, some of the popular museums and art galleries include the National Museum of Modern Art and the City Art Gallery. The National Museum of Modern Art is particularly renowned for its extensive collection of contemporary art, featuring works from both local and international artists. It attracts art enthusiasts and tourists alike due to its engaging exhibitions and educational programs. The City Art Gallery, on the other hand, showcases local talent and often hosts rotating exhibitions that reflect the cultural diversity of our community. Both venues offer unique insights into the artistic heritage of our region and contribute significantly to the cultural landscape. Do you believe that all museums and art galleries should be free? I firmly believe that access to culture and art should be as inclusive as possible. So I support the idea that many museums and art galleries should offer free admission. This, this approach would allow individuals from all socioeconomic backgrounds to appreciate and engage with art and history. However, it is also important to consider that some funding is required for maintenance, staff, and educational programs. Therefore, while permanent exhibitions could be free, temporary exhibitions or special events might still have a nominal fee. This balanced approach ensures accessibility while maintaining the sustainability of these cultural institutions. Three, what kinds of things make a museum or art gallery an interesting place to visit? Several factors contribute to making a museum or art gallery an interesting place to visit. First, the diversity of the exhibits plays a significant role. A mix of historical artifacts, contemporary art, and interactive displays can engage visitors of all ages. Second, the presence of knowledgeable staff or guided tours adds depth to the experience, providing context and stories behind the artworks. Additionally, special events, workshops, and community engagement programs can enhance the visitor experience by fostering a sense of connection to the art and culture. Overall, a combination of unique exhibits, educational opportunities, and a welcoming atmosphere makes a museum or art gallery a truly captivating destination. Pasha, the holiday industry. One, why do you think do some people book package holidays rather than traveling independently? Many people prefer booking package holidays for the convenience and security they offer. Package holidays typically include flights, accommodation, and sometimes even meals and excursions, which simplifies the planning process. For those who may not have the time or expertise to organize their travel, this all-inclusive approach takes the stress out of vacationing. Additionally, package holidays often come at a discounted rate compared to booking each component separately, making them more financially appealing. This can be particularly attractive to families or individuals who want a hassle-free experience, allowing them to focus on enjoying their time away. Two, would you say that large numbers of tourists cause problems for local people? Yes, the influx of large numbers of tourists can indeed create challenges for local residents. One significant issue is the strain on local infrastructure, including transportation, public services, and housing. In popular tourist destinations, the demand for accommodation can drive up rental prices, making it difficult for locals to find affordable housing. Additionally, overcrowding can lead to a decline in the quality of life for residents, as they may struggle with noise, tie traffic, and a loss of community identity. While tourism can bring economic benefits, it is essential for local governments to manage these challenges effectively to ensure a harmonious relationship between tourists and residents. The three, what sort of impact can large holiday resorts have on the environment? Large holiday resorts can have several detrimental impacts on the environment. Firstly, the construction of these resorts often leads to habitat destruction as natural landscapes are cleared for development. This can result in loss of biodiversity and disruption of local ecosystems. Secondly, resorts typically consume significant amounts of resources, including water and energy, which can strain local supplies, particularly in regions prone to drought. Furthermore, the increase in waste generated by large numbers of tourists can overwhelm local waste management systems, leading to pollution and environmental degradation. Therefore, 
It is crucial for the tourism industry to adopt sustainable practices to minimize these negative impacts and protect the natural environment.